They will make their way out in a few moments and they're going to get two rolling up laps. And you remember, if you were here for heat number one, what an intense battle it was between Jared Fox Whiteley, Leon Barlow, Lewis Goff, Lu uh, Lucas Blanford, Lizzie Mentia, Addison Smith. It really is tight in Mini Max. Barlow will lead the way this time, then with Horner alongside Adrian and Goff on the second row, Jack Burgess and Melissa Adrian on row number three. Isaac Parkinson and Callum Foster, row four. Jared Fox Knightley and Addison Smith on row five. In front of Lucas Blantford and Harry Holland with Lizzie Mentia and Oliver Fabricius completing your 14 runners. There they are then in the holding area just waiting for confirmation they'll make sure everybody's off obviously we've got to collect James Tate's cart from that run down towards Devil's Elbow that's Ben Adrian in the 48 in the blue and Leon Barlow in the 42 he's going off pole position being watched eagerly there in the background by the driver with the blue helmet that's Jacob Dukes he'll be out in junior Rotax in a little while way out there and pretty much everywhere you look here at GYG you are you can see hills from miles in all directions you know, despite the fact that we're not really in a bowl of sorts there's just so many hills around here everywhere you look there's there's peaks making their way around then drivers on cold tires all sliding wide this opening lap in terms of getting these new Comet tires up to temperature you pretty much go out and there's drive almost as fast as you can on these cold tyres trying to get as much in them they'll do it the same for roughly half a lap that's why we've got quite a big field spread and then Leon Barlow will back them up as they get towards the top of the hill and everybody then will get into their 2x2 two two format so Barlow will lead them round it's Horner on the outside of the front row and we have Ben Adrian and Lewis Goff on row number 2 some of the big names from the first heat will be going off towards the back. Mentia going off the back row. The row in front sees Addison Smith and Lucas Blanford. So we've got some, some of the perennial front runners in this Minimax class coming through from the back in this one. The opening lap is going to be very, very important to make sure everybody can get through there cleanly. We are lined up two by two as they make their way down the hill this is not as easy as it looks because the drivers are going a lot slower than what they normally are as they head down towards this final corner then they're going to be left look for the yellow line on track that's the acceleration point through they come Barlow off the inside is jumped by Ben Horner who sweeps all the way around the outside into lead Barlow slots into second Lewis Goff has moved up then into third place and he's going to come through with Melissa Adrian from sixth place moving through into fourth Ben Adrian drops down, Leon Barlow is back through on Ben Horner. Can Lewis Goff get the run down the hill? But Leon Barlow back into the lead after the slow start with Horner sweeping all the way round the outside of that first corner at club to lead the opening half of the lap. Looks like everybody's got through the first part of the lap nice and cleanly, which is always nice to see with these rolling start classes. Certainly when you've got such a long run, all the way up towards a very, very heavy braking zone at Spoon. Over the line they come then, Leon Barlow leading them through with Ben Horner in second place. Lewis Goff looks like he's got a good run down the inside of Horner. Adrian's going to come through as well, looks like as well, but then Goff, uh, Goff is definitely through into second place. And he's through into the lead as they get up the top of the hill towards Spoon Corner. So Goff now leading from Barlow and Horner. Then we've got Melissa Adrian in fourth place. Ben Adrian in fifth. Then there's a little bit of a gap back to Callum Foster. Then we've got Jared Fox Whiteley and Lucas Blantford in front of Addison Smith, Oliver Fabricius, Isaac Parkinson, Jack Burgess and Harry Holland. Looks like we are missing Lizzie Mentia in this second heat. Not sure where she is. They make their way up the hill. Melissa Adrian to the inside of Ben Horner. That's going to allow Ben Adrian to come through as well, I think. He does as they've got driver across the grass there. Not sure who that was. Not sure whether we'll be able to pick up who, who was rejoining 
on the track. Don't think it's caused any issues or nobody stopped. And we are through fairly cleanly there for the opening couple of laps. Lewis Goff has managed to break away. Uh, Lucas Blanford with a move down the inside there of Ben Horner. And around the driver that was on the grass now is I think it was Callum Foster. He's dropped four or five places from fifth place down into tenth. So that's going to promote Blantford all the way up into fifth. That's going to be fourth fairly quickly as he goes down the inside of Ben Adrian into the uh, right-hander at the top of the hill. And now he's sandwiched between Ben and Melissa. Jared Fox Whiteley there on the back of Ben Adrian coming through as well. And Addison Smith on the back of Ben Horner who led the way at the start of this race. Still only two and a half minutes in in this eight plus one. Five minutes still remaining with Lucas Blanford now right on the back of Melissa Adrian and will move to the inside into the kink. And he is through up into third place. The gap then to the leading duo as Jared Fox Whiteley is down the inside of Ben Adrian as well. So as everybody starts making moves towards the front, there's your leading duo, which sees Lewis Goff dragging Leon Barlow as well. Still not even half race distance yet, the gap. Lucas Blanford puts in the fastest lap of the race with the 43.815 <clears throat> close the gap on the leaders as Addison Smith dives down the inside of Ben Adrian and Jared Fox Whiteley does the same on Melissa Adrian into the spoon corner that moves him up into fourth place and Addison Smith's going to try for a dive down the inside into carousel on Melissa Adrian that door firmly closed though by the driver of the number 10 machine that's not a corner that whilst it looks like it's good for overtaking down the hill as there's a bit of contact there from Addison Smith into the back of Melissa Adrian which then Constantine's back into Ben Adrian behind them is that it's not the most common overtaking spot at all because everybody's coming out of a really slow corner down a hill at a very similar speed it takes a lot hard on the brakes there as Addison Smith does finally get through on Melissa Adrian a move that he tried in the downhill section earlier on through the uh, through he moves then that's going to put him up into uh, into fifth place Ben Hornet sticking with on the back of Ben Adrian as well in eighth place then they've got a comfortable gap back fairly to Oliver Fabricius who has the same to Callum Foster and Harry Holland with Jack Burgess and Isaac Parkinson the remaining runners for the 13 still out there in our mini max class Jared Fox Whiteley in the background there has dropped off ever so slightly but Blantford has closed in on Leon Barlow who too has got a bit of a gap now to Lewis Goff the <coughs> radiator adjustment for most of our drivers down the hill Addison Smith has moved away from Melissa Adrian who is still holding off her cousin Ben A Ben in the blue race suit Blantford makes a move on Leon Barlow in the downhill section as they head towards compression corner and he is up into second place and Fox Whiteley is through on Barlow as well Barlow might try and get back down the inside he does and Jared Fox Whiteley will have to uh, turn the page and assess plan, plan B and he heads towards Spoon and looks like he's got to the inside he has so the move that started at the other end of the track is complete at the top of the hill not sure what the arm movement was there from Fox Whiteley but he is up into third place so Goff leading the way with one minute and 40 seconds remaining a gap of seven tenths of a second and the previous lap is down to under four tenths of a second and Lucas Blanford will now be right in the slipstream of Lewis Goff as they head up. Fox Whiteley and then up into third. Barlow sticking with him. As they 
get to the top of the hill. There is <coughs> Box Whiteley in the orange helmet. Barlow in fourth. This will be his, his best JKC result. It, will it be for Leon Barlow if he can stick in there on the back of Fox Whiteley for fourth place? Addison Smith is five or six cart lengths back, so let's not discount him too much as well. 45 seconds remaining, so we're going to get at least two more laps in here as the time at the top does change ever so slightly the, uh, in this uh, heat number two. So then they're going to come round. It's gone back to as it was, so they'll come round. Two more laps because Goff will see the last lap board when they come round next time. Up the hill then towards Spoon for the penultimate time. Then it's hard on the brakes as they get the cart stopped. It's a blind entry into that corner and Blanford has closed up as the run down that he makes the move down the hill through he goes into the carousel corner can Goff get the cut back he can't and Lucas Blanford is through to lead the final as they head towards the last lap board Goff trying to get back alongside Blanford quickly through them court complex of corners can't get back alongside and Blanford now starting to move away can Goff stay with so he's close enough to benefit from the slipstream as they make their way up the hill here at Glanyu Gores Park. He is a lot closer now than what he was in the final complex of corners. As Lucas Blanford chops to one side, then back to the other. He's going to be tight into this one, into the corner. Goff, though, is down the inside, and Lewis Goff, arm off the steering wheel again from Lucas Blanford. But Lewis Goff is through into the spoon corner at the top of the hill and leads with half a lap to go. And Fox Whiteley and Barlow are closing up as well. Blantford, we know he can make the move into the left-hander here. We've seen it once or twice before, but Goff has that scouted. The door is closed. Into the devil's elbow for the final time. Arm off the steering wheel again from Lucas Blantford. Into the final corner. Lewis Goff wins heat number two in Minimax from Lucas Blantford and Jared Fox Whiteley with Leon Barlow, Addison Smith and Ben Adrian in front of Melissa. Then we've got Ben Horner, Oliver Fabricius, and Jack Burgess coming through to complete the top 10.